Hi everyone, Kent here on this well wet autumnal windy day. Come here now, I'm having about a few seconds. Um, I'm going to keep this one well, probably just a 10 minutes just to let you know what I'm doing. Um, as of the vlog 25, when I talked about the uh, plant filter, that's still the same. There's about two inch of water in there now that's filled up. So I'll probably have to overwinter, get me over on that and keep it out. Um, but basically this video is about um, had an opportunity arise. Someone was selling some pond balls um, and I jumped on it. And these are the, um, I think, Euromatic or they're the four inch balls and half of them are A and the other half, the top half, sorry the top half is A and the bottom half has got holes in so it allows it to sink so half is on the top and half on the bottom and I got five sacks for a decent price so I snapped them up because as people know I have been toying with the idea of enclosing um, polycarb on top um, but I've always been reluctant because I like to see my fish and I like to see my pond all the way through winter and as people know winters are not short in many countries um, so if I cover it now I'm not going to see my pond for many months but there is the other half of me that thinks well for the sake of the fish and fluctuations of the pond I need to do it so this is what I'm doing about doing so I arranged a courier to collect the uh, balls and they arrived this morning 8 o'clock surprisingly next day delivered through my courier so I'm going to spin this round in a minute and show you what I've got and show you what I'm going to do now I'm planning on I've normally run my filter let me spin you around I normally run the plant filter last year which obviously I've decommissioned it now so the plants are just in there, they've been divided, so they can get some roots put in for the winter, and then I'll fill that back up in spring. And this year I'm going to turn the shower off, so the shower is off. So I've isolated the shower, I've turned the air off to it, and I've opened the return to it. So now I've got two returns coming back into the pond, a 5 litre return from my main filter, and a Vario pump at the minute is blasting 14,000 litres through that pipe, so from a skimmer. So I'm not going to show you how to do that, under my feet in my filter house there is a controller and I'm just going to put this now on its minimum return just for the skimmer, just to skim some light surface skim. The bubbler is on, the air's on, so I can't really reduce that so that's going to keep blasting away and I'm going to show you now the, um, the balls. So I'm going to spin you around. So there they are. So I'm hoping the wind's going to be good to me for a few minutes. So I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to watch the pond temperature, see what it does. So I've got five of those. And as you can see, they are a four inch ball. And the bottom half has got holes in and the top half is sealed with air so the light can go through and can transmit any heat gain but also insulate the pond now like i say i'm going to be sad because it's the first time that i'm covering my pond um i've always been mentioning a pergola enclosing the pond i've even thought about enclosing the whole of the deck here as well but i love sitting here in summer and catching some sun so I'm a bit reluctant to do a sort of you know cover if you like here I'm thinking of enclosing the triangle bit well leaving that as like a pergola at the front at an angle then coming all the way along the back all the way down this back line of the fence to enclose this part a bit as well so I've got this end all the way here to here kind of enclosed somehow in some way like a little building or something 
but I don't want it to distract from the view that I've got. That's the last thing that I want. So it's got to be aesthetically pleasing. It's got to be sort of enclosed, but also give the appearance it's not. Okay, so for a short term measure, I'm going to use these balls because like I say, it was an opportunity I couldn't resist. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you the temperature that my pond is now. This was 10 degrees a week or so ago because it got quite cold. Now at the minute it's registering 14.5, 14.9, so let's say 15 degrees at the moment. So this has gone up five degrees in a week. So that's why I'm keen to get these on now. I don't really need them, I don't think, at the minute. I, I don't think because the ponds is 15 degrees, the koi are happy, uh, they're still feeding actually. I fed them a little bit yesterday very happy so technically I don't need it but you've got to think that it is that time of year we could get frost in the night and the temperature is fluctuating you can tell by the wind it's really windy so you're gonna get wind blowing off and in winter um, I actually sit here sometimes and actually you can see a mist coming off the pond where it's losing the heat so hence why I bought these pond balls I've been toying with the idea now the thing is with these, to buy brand new, they are, I would say many people think they're really expensive. You can get 50mm ones and you can get 100mm ones. Like I say, the 50mm ones just lighter weight balls, but these are like a harder plastic, they're not like a soft play ball. So anyone that thinks they're play balls, they're not. These aren't. These are the superior ones if you like. So. I'm going to, what I'll do, I'll put you down now, and I've got five of these bags, 1,500 balls, and I'm going to put you down here, so I'm hoping you can at least see what's going off with the pond balls. So I'm going to go and do my thing.
so oh my bum's wet now there we go I think there's a bit of uh, jostling there to be done seem really in line there don't they look how neat they are um, so hopefully if we have a little bit of a you know once they've got some uh, weather on them a little bit no doubt they will uh, jostle a bit more into position and I will keep you updated on temperatures show you an update I am also thinking of um, making a floating tube type thing with um, like uh, getting a plastic cloche or something or one of them domes in there so uh, I can still see the fish because uh, yeah like I say um, this is it does things like this does make me a bit um, sad if I'm honest with you because um, I do like to see them um, chances are this will make me not see them like you know it's like when people who cover the ponds you've got to force yourself haven't you to go and do it whereas now I just I sit here um, in the week in my conservatory while I'm working from home and I can see the fish coming to the top um, you know floating in the pond when they're in the distance yet with this I'm not going to be able to do that so that is definitely a downside one thing I've noticed straight away, look at the swell on the water. See if you can see it. They actually... How much they're going up and down with the water. It just shows you the water movement in there. And the actual... Um, wind. Thanks for watching guys, winter preparation, what a ball bag, literally ball bags. Thanks for watching, please join uh, Friendly Koi Keepers, Love of Orchids and Gardening, Friendly Reef Keepers. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you didn't enjoy it, if you're one of them that just likes to uh, put thumbs down all the time and a bit negative. <laughs> thanks for watching guys and thanks a lot Phil, appreciate it.